It's not a secret that more and more visitors are mobile visitors. So now I'm asking, how do your opt-in forms look on mobile? Hi, I'm Hanne from Thrive Teams, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make mobile-specific opt-in forms so that you can turn those mobile visitors into leads. In Thrive Leads, you have three different levels of mobile optimization. The very first one is that you can pick which opt-in form type shows on desktop and which one on mobile. This allows you to hide opt-in form types from mobile. So you can, for example, use a very in-your-face type of opt-in form, such as a screen filler for desktop visitors and show something way more subtle, such as a ribbon to mobile visitors. The second thing that you can do is hide elements on your opt-in form for your mobile viewers. So this means that you can have a light box that shows an image, for example, on desktop, and that image will not show on mobile so that you can make more compact opt-in forms. And the third level of mobile customization is that you can actually do mobile editing. So this means that you can tweak your complete opt-in form to look perfect on mobile. Now let me show you how this is done. So as you can see here, I have a lead group that is set up and this one is actually set up to show on all of the blog posts. And for the moment, nothing is showing, but I have a ribbon here and a screen filler light box. And what I would do is to switch this on for desktop on the screen filler light box, leave it off for the ribbon so that we don't have both of the same on one page and then switch it on on mobile. So this is how simple it is to actually show a different opt-in form type to mobile visitors. Now let's go one step further. Let's go to this ribbon. And now, as you can see, this is a ribbon with an opt-in form on it. And we can check how this looks like on tablet and how this looks like on mobile. So maybe on mobile, you don't want to show the opt-in form immediately. You want to make it even smaller and show a button first so that people click on a button and then you get the light box to pop up. And this is completely possible. So to do this, let's go back to our desktop view because this is something that we want to do for all of the views and simply delete this lead generation element. Now let's drop a button in here and let's pick the border one button and we're going to make this color red again and then let's also change the color of this border so this is a button border and make this maybe a little lighter red or a bit darker so this looks pretty good and now what we have to do is we have to create a second state of this opt-in form so that we can have a light box to show up. So go to the states menu, add a new state and pick a light box state. From here, you'll be able to pick a new template. So in the page setup, go to choose opt-in template and you can select one of the many templates that we have available here. Let's pick this one, for example. So this typically is an opt-in form that looks very good on desktop with the big image, but maybe on mobile, you don't want it to show up. So what you can do is you can actually select this element, go to the responsive menu and say that you want this to be invisible on mobile. And now what will happen if you switch to mobile view, you only have this opt-in form. What's even more is that you can start tweaking everything on this opt-in form. So we can change the text, we can change the margins, and that is the third level of customization, the mobile editing. So once this looks good on mobile, let's save it. Let's go back to our ribbon element. And now here we can also tweak this a little bit. So probably like bring this a little closer. The last thing we have to do is link up this button to our light box. So we can click on this button, go to the actions and animations, and here you can see that for the moment it's linked to just a normal link, but we can delete this action and go to the custom integrations. And from here you can show the light box state. So this would be our first light box and we can apply this. Let's save. Now what will happen is when somebody clicks on this, they will see the opt-in form 
and when somebody clicks on this on mobile, because this ribbon will only show on mobile, they will see the opt-in form without the image on it. Now here I simulated the preview of this opt-in form on a mobile device. And as you can see, we have the button and once somebody clicks on the button, this opt-in form will show and it does not have the image on it anymore. Now, as you can see with Thrive Leads, you can really customize your opt-in forms for your mobile users and you can make sure that they have a pleasant experience with your website. Now, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them below.